Okay, now we're back and we have foundation pieced four and five. And remember, we trimmed the extra out of the seam. Now, notice I didn't place it very well. This isn't in the center. That's okay because my next piece is going to cover that. I mean, you could be more careful than I am. This is just to show you that sometimes you can cheat a little bit and it won't show. Okay, so now I need to place the next section of my tree. But again, I'm working blind because I'm on the side where all the fabric is placed and all the lines are on this side. So with this side up, I'll machine baste where this next section goes into the seam. And that will transfer the location of the next section to this side. Then I take my next largest piece, and here it's already stuffed, and I'm going to place it so that the raw edges are a quarter of an inch past that basting. And now I'll foundation piece the next two background pieces and continue up the line until that is finished. Um, notice when I stuff these, I should have said before, I put more of the stuffing down in the scallop because see as we add, um, this part's covered up anyway, but it kind of gives it a neat look like it's coming from the trunk of the tree out if you just stuff these outer edges. And it's a little easier because if you really stuff it, you can distort it and it's not going to fit exactly right. You're going to have to push it down, that kind of thing. So, you know, be conservative on the stuffing a little bit, but, but more in the scallops will give it a nice effect. Now I'll continue up doing each section. So I'll foundation piece these two backgrounds, then I'll baste, lay in the next section, foundation piece the next you know, the, the background to the next section, each time the raw edges of each section are encased in that seam. Then I'll cut it out on the dashed line and then the tree section is done. For the tree skirt section, it's the same principle. So I made this the same way I foundation pieced all the reds and then I would stuff and sew, stuff and sew, stuff and sew, stuff and sew until I have this cool little tree skirt. This piece is pieced separately than the tree and then after it's all cut out on the dashed line both pieces are sewn together. So I start with number one and it's just a dark color, usually green would contrast your red which would look really nice. So I've laid my number one right side away so that all of number one is covered. Now I need to know where to place that tree skirt. So I will machine baste where the tree skirt goes into the seam. That will transfer the location to this side. Then I'll place my tree skirt so that the raw edges are a quarter of an inch above that basting so that they will be encased into the, raw e into the seams. Then I'll cut a piece of background fabric large enough to cover two and three, place it right side down, along that edge, turn it over, sew on that line, trim the extra out, fold it back, and you'll have your tree skirt sections done that way. Now when it's all put together, it, this is such a fun quilt. Just pops. Now I've learned something on this quilt. Um, you can overdo the embellishing. Certainly go have fun. Look at the little miniatures at Christmas time. They have some fun little Christmas balls and things. Um, but I have found simple is just makes it so much more elegant. This is just a ribbon that I stitched in, uh, in each section to make it like a garland. And the only trick on this is that as you stitch it here you kind of have to fold that ribbon and dart it right there so that the ribbon will f will lay like this. Otherwise, you know, it just goes straight across. You kind of have to dart it here, dart it here, you know, turn these ends of the ribbon under stitch. And then uh, we, we have these available. Um, you can email us if you want these little balls. They're little wooden balls. But, you know, fine little glass ones, whatever you, you would like. Buttons are beautiful there. The little jingle bells are darling there. And then for the top, you know, this is just a little bow. Um, but, you know, do something fun there at the top. You could put a star. It'd be great. Anyway, I hope you have fun with this. Now, notice here on the lighting, we started with a light on one side and then came around. But look, look, this is a good one to look at. Look, look how there's not a lot of contrast here. And all of a sudden, when you look at that whole tree, that piece doesn't work. Okay. 
so I probably should have put this one down the middle so the light was if the light were down the middle then the tree would would bend better but this still looks good it looks you know like patchy kind of fun so have fun with this quilt it really is easy um, you know it looks tricky but it's not it's really really fun so make a fun gift thank you